Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Julie. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the newest collaboration with Blue Sky Planners and the Home Edit. All right, so like I said, I've got a few products here that were sent to me by Blue Sky Planners when they reached out and said that they were doing a collaboration with the Home Edit. And if I would like to take a look at some of these items, I was like, absolutely yes. If you're not familiar with the Home Edit, um, they are a team of authors, Joanna and Clea. Clea, I'm not sure if I'm saying her name properly, but they are a couple of authors that kind of teamed up and they have been pretty much like storming the internet with all of their amazing amazing rainbow like organization and it's really really amazing I believe they also have a collaboration with the container store among a few others and if you follow them over on Instagram you will definitely be inspired I had no idea that they were doing a planner but it kind of makes sense so let's take a look at some of these products I'm gonna get some of these things out of the way quickly because you know what an accordion file is it's got like sort of their themed design on it, so the majority of the color is black and white with some hints of the rainbow along the edges there. And I think that you guys are really gonna like this. It's got rainbow tabs and color all the way throughout. Now it is not expandable along the bottom, so it's a true accordion file folder. Most of these products I believe will be available at Target. I actually checked both of my Targets this past weekend and neither had those products. So I'm really not sure which Target stores are going to be carrying these items. So you'll definitely want to keep an eye out and I'm sure that they're going to have them online to be a little bit more accessible. So that is the accordion pouch, which actually, this could not have arrived at a better time. I was like, why do we not have one of these here in our house? And I needed one, now I have one. So yeah, this is a document holder. It has 12 pockets and it comes with 24 printed labels and 12 blank labels for you there. And it does have the home edit for day designer. If you aren't following along, I do believe that Blue Sky Purchase Day Designer. I'm not entirely sure there, but it's got like the little bit of gold foiling there. And that is pretty much it for the accordion file. I really like this. I love how colorful it is. Jesse was a little bit like, that's a little bit too much color, but <laughs> I really like it. Let's move on to the planners that they sent. And I'm gonna kind of zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit better. And let's start off with this smaller one. Now I will say this, if you're watching my channel, you're probably quite familiar with planners. So keep in mind, like I said, these will be available at Target. So these are going to be your Target price point planners. So don't sit here and expect a $60 planner <laughs> or a $60 quality planner at a Target price. So keep that in mind when we're talking about things like paper, binding, etc. All right, so this first one is sort of a hard bound planning calendar and it starts July 21 through June 22. It does say that it is a monthly calendar with weekly calendars, yearly reference, and notes. And it's in this like black linen material and it does have the gold corner uh, protectors there for you. Let me go ahead and see if I can slide this off. I'm probably going to have to just, there we go so that you can actually see the whole cover. It's pretty simple. It just says the Home Edit Planner 2021-2022. All right, so you're going to open it up. And again, it has the title on there. You have a page where you can put your name and all of your contact information. And immediately you'll see that there are some hints of the rainbow, uh, which is very much in line with their brand. Next up, you're gonna have a little bit of a goal setting area. Over here, you're gonna put milestones and events for the year ahead, big goals and projects, what I wanna do more of, what I wanna do less of, and then an area for your life goals. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the planner and it is the daily edit. So it gives you an opportunity to look at your morning routine and your evening routine and just a good amount of space for you to keep it all in one place. Now I'm someone who likes to revisit my routines quite often so only having one page makes me a little bit nervous for it but um, I do love that they do include routines as part of this planning system. Now what I thought was interesting is that this planner says that it starts July of 2021 but but they do give you the May calendar, which it's lined, which is also awesome. 
and you also get the June calendar. So if you were to purchase this planner ahead, you can go ahead and put some events in there and then start planning moving forward in July. Then you get a line page and then your title page. One of my favorite, favorite parts of this planner are the title pages in front of each month. They're like not these, they're not these like fluffy, toxic positivity quotes on each one. They are just full of snark and they're just funny and hilarious and I absolutely love them. So July says pop champagne, fireworks are optional. <laughs> then you have your July month at a glance. Again, it is also lined. Holidays are printed in there for you. It is a Sunday through Saturday start. And what I thought was unique was that the sidebar is on the left, which is what I'm not used to, but I thought that that was really neat. You do have the month previous and the month going forward at a glance for you. Now you're going to jump into your weekly view and here it is horizontal, but it's almost broken up vertically for each day. So you have my day on the left and your to do's on the right. The date is written across the top. This is dated for you. So you're not going to have to worry about that. If undated planners are somewhat intimidating for you. What I do love is across the bottom here, they have printed things I must do, things I postponed but need to get done, and bonus points if I get this done, and then to do next week. And then it continues each week after that, and then you would go into the month of August. I love this. It says school supplies are not just for kids. <laughs> I love that so much. At the end of the month, you do get a month in review page. So you'll have a list of things you did, things I did but I didn't have to, love that. Things I didn't do, things I absolutely had to do so I need to do next month. I feel like this is a list that all of us needs in our planner no matter what planner we're using. So again, this book comes with two ribbon bookmarks so you could keep one in your month view, one in your week view, and it does go all the way through December of 2022. As far as notes pages go, there aren't a whole lot. However, you're going to get to this back part of the planner and I'm trying to find it here. And I said December of 2022, it's actually June 2022. There's an extra credit area in the back of the planner. It says if you've made it to this section, you deserve a gold star and a celebratory, I'm assuming those are glasses of champagne. <laughs> So then you have a little area in the back here that has kind of like a theme for each month. So it has July vacation mode activated and it has a like travel sort of packing list for you. August has back to life, back to reality. And it has an area for you to sort of write out your schedule for the day. October has the great indoors. Oh, how I've missed you. So of course going into fall months when we spend a little bit of time indoors and you have an area of movies to see, shows to watch, books to read, podcasts to listen to. I just, I really, really love this because it kind of gives you a space for each month that's kind of themed. So November you have like your um, holiday season begins and it has a little bit of like hosting planning for you if you do that sort of thing. December has some holiday decor checklists for you. And then January has New Year's intentions, not resolutions. I really, really love that. And it has a little bit of like a pre-printed checklist for you along with some updated, um, along with some blank checklists that you can write in yourself. So it's got some really great things in here like unsubscribe to emails, clean out your purse, sweep the front porch, water your plants, things like that. And then February has an area for you to put your accounts, your usernames, passwords, billing information, all of that. I'm not a huge fan of writing things down like that, but it might work for some people. Then you've got March, which is a reset, April, spring cleaning, May, make time for self-care, June, surviving and thriving in the great outdoors. I just, I love those pages, those are really cute. And then you have a list of holidays in the back here. So these are probably holidays that are either printed in the calendar or not necessarily printed in the calendar, but then you'll have a list of them in the back. And then that is it for the back of that planner. Now the other two planners are exactly the same format, however they are in different sizes and different cover options. So this pink one right here is almost like a chipboard cover. It's not fabric or linen like the other one and obviously it is not hard bound, it is wire O bound. And I don't know if they're gonna have other cover options but this one is pink and it has some foiled hearts on the cover. 
Now this one does come with a pocket and some stickers and a ruler. What I thought was interesting is that the pocket folder is just as wide as the tabs. It's not the width of the pages, so that could be a good thing. I'm not entirely sure, but I do love that it comes with stickers and a bookmark for you to use as well. And the pocket folder does have a pocket on both sides. Now, of course, the tabs instantly got me. Like, I love these so, so much. The rainbow theme is perfect. So just like the other planner, you're gonna have a year at a glance, a little bit of information about the Home Edit being an organizational company, and you've got the same um, areas in here for life goals, upkeep is everything, your habits, same thing again on an on a wire O coil, which I would prefer over the bound book. Now, one of the things that I wanna show you guys was the um, cover pages for each month because I think that these are probably like <laughs> just my favorite part of the planner. So of course, like the other one, it says pop champagne, fireworks are optional, August is school supplies are not just for kids, September is channel the flannel, October, which way to the candy? <laughs> I prefer these kind of cover pages as opposed to like the super happy go lucky bleh covers. <laughs> Um, happy holidays, please leave by seven. This is by far my favorite, favorite, favorite. I mean, if you could leave by six, that would be great. Um, <laughs> December, only 31 more days of listening to All I Want for Christmas on repeat. January is Happy New Year, hoping all your problems last as long as your, your New Year's resolutions. <laughs> February, all you need is love, champagne, and candy. March, dark days are over. <laughs> April, indoorsy, no morsy, allerg allergy season is here. Love that. Uh, May's vacation mode is on. And then June, you don't have to be a beauty blogger to love a good face mask. I love that. And of course, you still get the extra credit section in the back. As far as the tab goes on here, since the, the other book wasn't tabbed, they seem pretty durable. The paper itself, seems right on par for something that you would find at Target if I'm being 100% fair. They did send over a pen as well that is going to be part of the collection. I'm trying to find a page to write on in here and it can probably be the month of May. Let's get this open. This does say the Home Edit Four Day Designer Pen. I can only assume that, that this is ballpoint. I'm not 100% sure, but let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, it is definitely ballpoint, but let's see how this paper performs, at least with ballpoint pen. I forgot how slippery ballpoint can be on certain papers. All right, so as you can see, there is some, definitely some indentation on the paper, but I do write really hard. Now, I don't expect ballpoint to bleed through this paper, but let's try something else. One of the pens that I have been loving is the Sarasa I think it's the Grand Gel, but let's just try a gel pen on here to see just how good or maybe not so good this paper might be. Oh, that's actually not that bad. Again, the paper is thin where you're going to get a lot of indentation on the opposing page, so if that bothers you, that might not be for you, but I'm honestly shocked that there's not any bleed through. There's definitely some shadowing and ghosting and things like that, but there's not any bleed through, which is really, really nice. I like the size of this one. It's a, it's definitely larger than this um, more pocket size planner, but I also love that this is on a coil. Now, my favorite of the ones that they sent over is this huge <laughs> planner, and I know that that might sound a little crazy, but I love the cover on this one. It's like a plastic material. I can tell you right now that this is going to be what I'm going to be using for work. I'm super, super excited about this. It has a black cover. Again, it's also July 21 through June 2022. That is a lot of numbers. Um, <laughs> so you have the title page here. I like that this one is coded. I don't think it's coded on the other one. No, definitely not coded. So on this one, it is coded, which is really cool. You get the sticker you get a ruler which is great you get the pocket folder again it's it's large but you get two pockets which is awesome okay then you have this planner belongs to again the same information about the home edit with the yearly overview the goals and habits section you do get May and June and then starts 
your July. You get all of the same title pages for each month, and then the weekly pages are the same. Obviously, just much, much larger, but I love how it is split into two each day. So you have your day, then you have your to-dos over here. You get the same little prompts at the bottom, your must-do, your postponed things, um, things like that. So. I personally love this size for work because you can put papers in here that are this size and it's just, it's great. Get all the way to the back, it's the same thing. You just have the holidays here. I don't know why these pages are laminated in this one but not in the other planners. It's really interesting. But it's on the wire O binding. It's not too bulky. I think it's great to toss into, like if you carry a tote bag to and from work and just those colorful tabs are so, so great. So I was able to pull up the prices for these planners on target.com. So if your target does not have them, you can always get them online. Now this one is only $16.99. Actually, I need to make sure because this is the, I'm assuming this is eight and a half by 11, but it could be the eight by 10 flexible cover. There's two on their website. So one is $16.99 and one is $22.99. The accordion folder is only $14.99, which I think is awesome. This planner with the chipboard cover is $14.99. And I couldn't find this exact one on my Target app, but it does look like this might be $19.99. The size isn't quite matching up, so I know that it's going to be less than that because this is definitely not the eight and a half by 11 bound version. I did also not find the pen on the Target app, but again, I might just need to tweak like what it is that I am searching for. All right, so that is it for this review of the Blue Sky Planners in collaboration with The Home Edit. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any question about these items, please feel free to ask down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you're already subscribed, make sure that you click that red notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.